Fancy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you used to stay in this, didn't you? Yeah. And this is your bed? Yeah. Did you keep it in the center like this, or was it... Um... I, we built a platform, uh -huh. but uh, the bed is a uh, bed that I bought from Big Lots. It's a oh. uh, uh, gel and memory foam. Right, it looks small from here. No, I guess it goes it goes way up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a... Uh... Wow, nice. that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's called a Zetopedic. Zytopedic. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh, and was it comfy? Yeah, so I just travel from state to state and uh, work in different hospitals. And I've, um, yeah, I've been doing this for about, I've been a nurse for about five years. So that opens up right there. That gives you ventilation. Yeah. And that can also open up from the inside in the morning, just opens up and let in the, the breeze. Oh yeah, it's a cross breeze. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got this curtain rod here. For, for privacy? Yeah. Okay. I took everything down because I was cleaning everything and spring cleaning. And so you stay in hotels while you're working and then this when you're on the road? Yeah. That's my curtain that I can, that I can... Oh, you have a privacy curtain right yeah. here? Yeah, and then wow, a lot of storage under here. Yeah, it's a, it's big. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it goes way back there. Well, let me open up. So you're not using it right now, though. That's why it doesn't have anything in it. Well, yeah, I'm just cleaning it out. Right. But because um, you I, have the hotel right now, so. Right, and um, but I'm only at the hotel for another week. Okay. And then I'm gonna. Are you still at the same job? Or are you oh, yeah. are you done with it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Forward to housing allowance so that way you. I get the housing allowance right instead of, and use it for what you need to yeah okay which I mean if I have this I might as well just make use of it right and, yeah. Uh, yeah definitely it looks comfy it's very comfortable and um, I've got these privacy the reflectix Part, right with the, with the fabric so you put the reflectix on the outside and then the and then fabric the, on the mm -hmm. inside and then you can't you Wait, uh, so no, you covered it completely. Yeah, you can't see anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the reflectix is on the inside. Although I see you didn't do that with this one. I see yeah, reflectix I did. there. No, oh, see, no, I didn't. On, yeah. on the other side, I did. Oh, okay. Did, oh, you just painted this one black. Right. Because okay. I wanted to see right, the difference. The difference. And on the other side, you can't see anything. Right. But yeah, I can, definitely like the fabric better. I do too, because I think I'm going to put fabric on that side too. And. Yeah, with the frame, that's really held up good. And there's a lot of uh, space back here too. Yeah, I saw. I, I put the camera in there. Did okay. you? Did you build the frame yourself? Mm -hmm. You yeah, did. Uh, actually, uh, me and my buddy. Awesome. Uh, we built it together, and we had. Uh, we were trying to figure out a, a way to build platform where it would be storage in there as much as possible. Right. Like you know, tents and. Well, um, I don't have a lot of stuff anyway I, I, have a, I live a very small footprint minimal life very and uh, basically I just have a my backpack with my clothes and my scrubs and whatever works for yeah. you and then I just bought a tent I haven't even opened it yet is this tent for a, a later purpose um, this is just for like if I want to go um, you know if I want to switch it up like if sometimes if I um, if I'm in a campground, camp spot, if I don't want to you know, sleep in my truck. I Do some just... tent camping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I haven't even opened the box yet, but it's a um, eight person tent. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> <laughs> a nice size tent. <laughs> so what do you normally keep down here? Because it's a lot of storage. Yeah, it is. Mostly I just keep uh, my uh, emergency first aid kit, my uh, bag with my clothes in it. Um, I keep my, I have a Coleman a butane stove that I keep with me, some pots and pans, very minimal, basic. Right. I have two plates, one bowl, and a set of silverware. So, do you mind me asking, um, sure. how do you, like, wash things, and how do you keep clean, and I mean, because it have, is limited space, and I don't really see any bathrooms or anything. Well, what I do is that I also have, uh, mind you, this is completely empty, so... But at, uh, in my hotel room, I have a shower tent, a pop-up shower tent. And then I have a, um, a kahuna. It's a container, and um, 
you plug it in your cigarette lighter and you put water in the container and it and it um, circulates circulates yeah um, but it's self contained unit oh. and uh, so you can just I put my shower tin up this is the plug you use right there mm -hmm. I have uh, seven different v12 sockets oh wow that's a lot going on yeah I have um, four up front mm -hmm. and three back here well that makes it convenient do you have any other batteries besides your starting battery um, I have I do have an extra uh, battery um, I'm actually in the process of getting solar oh put on good uh, yeah that so, makes a world of a difference oh yes and so next couple of weeks I'm gonna drive down to Arizona and um, gonna have them install my solar awesome solar comfort panel. is important when you're in a small space it really is people don't understand that but the more comfortable you can make it for yourself since it is a small space right just makes a difference exactly and plus as small as this space is it's important for me to have a small footprint and to live as minimal as I can um, to prevent any other kind of um, you know oh gosh where did I put my toothbrush you right know, if, I know where where it is. Well, everything has a place. Exactly. And so I think that's important for people like me that that don't travel in large uh, RVs. That everything has a place. Exactly. And uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So do you feel like you have everything worked out, or is it still in progress? It's you know, it's always. I think for me, I'm constantly finding ways to make things better right um, so it's always a work in progress and it's always evolving I'm always finding things that you know make my life better more comfortable right um, well I live in a classy and I find the same situation I'm it's it's always evolving right right and you know with people like us that are on the road especially me as a travel nurse I travel all over the country so if I'm at a Walmart somewhere or at a Target and I run into something that, you know, oh gosh, you know, this is neat. This is going to make my life easier um, and less stressful and less hectic, then, you know, I'll try it. Um, it's worth it's, trying. You never know. And, you know, with us, uh, like you and I, it's all about trial and error. And I find that to be true. Yeah. It's all about trial. And, and I tell a lot of my, um, patients that I come across I tell them that, that, that I live in my uh, vehicle I tell them what, what what I do and and they're always amazed oh you're a travel nurse you get to travel everywhere you know well, where do you stay well this is my home right my home on wheels and um, but yeah I've, I've I've really enjoyed this uh, this lifestyle um, I, I wish I would have done this a long time ago see the where I did the fabric Oh yeah, this one has the fabric, and so you can't see anything. Can't see anything. Blends much better. Mm -hmm. More storage. This really does look like a comfy, comfy. It's so comfortable. I bet. Very. Um. This is my. And this is just the cab, inside. Yep. yep. Awesome. Very neat. And also, a lot of people ask me, um, well, how do you charge your um, devices or do you have a fan how do you how do you plug stuff up right well I have a little charger that I use and uh, if I'm boondocking somewhere it's called a halo I've seen one of those so you just plug this in and then it's just portable yeah and um, I, I brought a fan with me to show you how powerful this is and how long can it run the fan? Uh, I've run the fan for eight hours. And how many amps is the fan? Like one amp? Uh, it is 14. 14 amps? I think. Let me... No, you're right. It's one amp. Well, yeah, most fans are about yeah. one amp, so. So that's, yeah, that's pretty typical. But how long did it run it, you say? Eight hours. Eight hours. That's good. That's uh, that's uh, that's sleep right there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and it's also jumps, it uses as a jump starter. Mm -hmm. You can jump your car with it. Oh. Yeah, and it comes with, uh, with I see. jump start kit. 
Just plug it into that port right there. Yep. And uh, this has a light. Night light? Yep. Nice. And um, I'll show you the. Oh, come over here. See how it looks. Yeah, it puts out some nice air there. Yeah. Keeps you cool at night. Very comfortable. Well, and, this and area, you don't really have to worry about it so much. Well, it's like 40 area, degrees. I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> because last night, I actually boondocked and it got down to 28 degrees. Oh, my. oh you're in Leadville. Leadville. That's right. Yeah, See, 20. we're a year higher than we are. Yeah. So, Ooh, bro, that's chilly. I'm almost 11,000 feet where I was. Right. I feel that. Yeah. I know it, it does. It yeah, feels nice. Eight hours. If it works, it works. <laughs> I don't know why there's would be reason for two batteries, but I don't know. Maybe they knew you were gonna go camping in it. It's a big engine. Yeah. So um, you say there is two places? Mm -hmm. There's one here, and then there's another spot here. Oh, I see. Yeah. This area. Is it already wired for an extra battery? Mm -hmm. It yeah. is. Yep. Well, that's good because it's really not good to charge or try to charge your things off of your starting battery because you can kill it and it, it shortens its lifespan. Right. And so with me having solar power with the extra battery. That's where they can place it. Great. It's always yeah. nice because most people put it on the inside and they have to get a AGM, a something sealed. Box. Right. Since you're a traveling nurse, I'm sure you've been to a lot of places. Is there any specific place that you like the best? And why? Um, I've been in this line of field for about five years, and I've only been a travel nurse traveling for about a year, a uh, year and a half. And I would say by far, Colorado um, tops my list. Um, prior to that, I would have said um, East Tennessee, Knoxville, um, Gatlinburg area with the mountains. And that's actually where you're from, right? I, I actually was born in Seattle, Washington. Okay. Yeah, but I've spent a majority of my time in Tennessee. In Tennessee. Yeah, it is beautiful. I mean, just look at the background behind you. It's, it's awesome. It's, it's gorgeous. It's uh, unlike anything I, I've ever experienced before. The, the beauty and, and the nature. Um, I've seen pictures of Colorado and, and on TV, but when you come out here and you experience this firsthand, um, this is what I thought of what Colorado looked like with the rivers and the mountains and there's even s snow still on the mountains and it's it's June uh, where I live currently um, which is in Leadville uh, we're almost at 11,000 feet and um, the beauty is everywhere I've been there, so I know it is everywhere. Um, another thing I want to ask you, since you've been on the road, is there anything that you've learned that you can share with someone who's starting out a newbie? Sure. Um, I would do as much research as possible. And YouTube channels, uh, I su strongly suggest uh, to follow Aja's channel, uh, <laughs> Camper Van Kevin, uh, Caravan Carolyn, uh, Seth, they're all great resources of how to live this lifestyle and to what you need. Also, Bob Wells, uh, he's also been a big inspiration uh, to me. And it, just take your time with it. Don't rush it. Talk to other people uh, that have that live this lifestyle. Experience is key. Ex yeah. Um, the, the key thing here is to gather as much information as you can and go for it um, nothing's stopping you uh, don't let anything hold you back I think fear is a big thing for people uh, the unknown is also a, 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 a big issue for people um, go for it that's my um, that's, that's my opinion be naked that's right I'm Edward onward bound